Welcome back to Star Tropics, guys. This is Chapter 5, and while we have Dr. J's location, we can't get there because of that big-ass ship blocking the way. So, we need to find a way to get around it, or through it. Maybe these people can help us out. <sighs> so apparently this Captain Bell guy is a... Well, okay. I'll, I'll let them tell it. The Island Father. Does that mean the mother is a mountain? What? How does that work? Yeah, we saw that. It's like the first thing you see. You'd think that would be a clue, but it's not. Uh, uh, we, no, we are very aware of that already. We already were in the fish village. Fish cola, whatever that was. Uh, can we talk to the chief now? Let's talk to Chief Luigi. What do you got for us? Oh. Alright, fast track to the secret. Sure, sure, we got it. No problem. Everyone's so trusting here. Okay, we need to find Peter. So, a long time ago, this British guy fought against pirates trying to invade the islands, and to keep them from invading the islands, he blocked the strait with his ship. Okay. Cool. But, I don't see any pirates around anymore, so I think we can, uh, you know, open, open this thing up. And this is Peter? You're the one who's gonna help us get into the cave. Awesome. And we need to bribe him, too. Yes, Navcom is informing us that we are not yet close enough to Dr. J to really pick up his signal. But we're almost there. It's just, we gotta take care of this issue first. there. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. <sighs> More fishermen. I don't like fish. I'm really tired of seeing them. <laughs> Worms aren't really that great either. But, alright. We'll take it. Free worm! Alright. Havcom is going to tell us again that message. Every time we go into the ship, actually, which is kind of unnecessary. Uh, we get it. We know you're trying your best. At, at least we can say that about you. Alright, Peter. I don't really feel like eating this worm, no matter how hungry I am, so... Might as well give it to you. Birds like worms, right? Oh, I don't know if parrots do, but whatever. Alright, Peter, here's your bribe. How do we get into the cave? Yes! I... okay. Good. What? What does that mean? Really? That's our clue. And that's all we're gonna get. Now, there's something I didn't show you yet, and it'll probably all become clear in a moment when I show you Captain Bell's memorial. He gave us a code. Even if it did sound a little... strange.
Now we can move through these mountains over here and eventually find our way over to the memorial. Uh, not that way. <clears throat> Just running around in circles in this tunnel. Um. Um. Where do I go? Someone help. Aha, you go left from that path instead of up. I was also checking here to see if there's a big heart hidden here, and I forget that there's one obviously hidden coming up. So that's what that parrot is. It wasn't actually his parrot, it was his... There's some Metal Gear Solid stuff going on. Kojima must have loved this game. Between the, the hidden frequency in the game's instruction manual and the, the parrot is the grandson of the other parrot... This, Okay. So the giant piano here, if you haven't figured it out, Do, Mi, So, Fa, Do, Mi. That's the code that Peter gave us. Now, as a kid, I got stuck here too, even though it was pretty obvious. Um, you know, once you figured it out, uh, and the reason being, because I had music dyslexia, I confused where Fa and So were on the piano. So, I got stuck for quite a while there. I got stuck on everything as a kid. Also, empty room. Wait a second. Aha! We also have big eyes. That's how we spotted that. Up to nine hearts, making good progress. We'll have to take quite a bit of damage before we can stop uh, using the shooting star. And we're going to need it in this level, believe me. Actually, no, we won't. It's at not actually a very combat-heavy level. I really like this level coming up. It's tough, but it's pretty fun. Something very different from the other levels we've seen so far. Also, what are you doing there? Go away. Nothing hidden there, just there to unnerve you for some strange reason? And the screen scrolling here means that there's definitely a false wall. There it is. And some hearts in case we didn't pick up the big heart and get our life refilled. All right, let's see what this dungeon's all about. Okay. Well, these guys aren't a threat at all with the shooting star. Even if the red ones are a little fast, who cares? Not a problem. The music is a bit unnerving. But look at all the free hearts we get. Let's slowly move over there and get them. Oh, Jesus. That does not look good. Need to find the switch. Come on, Mike. Alright, we're good. We're good. Um. Uh, heh, okay. So this is the Indiana Jones dungeon. Um, or the Goonies dungeon, if you prefer. Uh, either one works. This place is full of traps that we haven't seen yet in this game, and they're all to make sure that we do not move the ship. Also, these guys. Kind of fun to play with. Definitely works on your jumping timing if you're not so sure about it. Once they are set in motion, they won't stop for anything, and they only move in those two directions. And now, choose your own adventure. Oh good, a sign. We have great luck with these. Oh wait, no, I haven't gotten the minus one yet. It's just I have great luck with the game regardless. Oh right, this is where I complete... Okay, uh, I have to explain what just happened there. <laughs> um, 
Every now and then, uh, I get a thing stealing window focus from me, and I forgot to set my emulator to run in background. So I lost control for a second there, and then while I was scrambling away from the enemies, I took even more damage. So that's awesome. Also, one of those spears would have killed me. Yep. Gotta know where they are, or just jump a lot. It does feel pretty cool to run through a room of them while they're all firing behind you. This is a weird looking room. Um... Oh, this room is even more fun. Uh, yeah, so these, uh, stake traps will hone in on you, but only move in a straight line. And there's usually two of them at once, and there's a lot of ways to fall into this room. So, you better, uh, know how to avoid them, otherwise you're gonna take a ton of damage here. And they do do a lot of damage. Now, if you probably noticed the fake walls here, and that's how we're going to get out of this room, because the floor traps are everywhere. <sighs> Damn it. So we have to start at the lower right staircase. And then go through the fake wall here, and then into the next room with the fake wall to the left. Okay. The spike things on the walls are sort of a hint that... Oh, damn it! Mike! They're snakes! You're better than this! Okay, nope. No harpoons here on this side of the room. Oh no, you have got to be kidding me. Where's the switch? Yeah, you better believe this is a dick move, because they're definitely going to not find it on your first try. Of course, it's in the corner. Probably one of the last places you'd look. Or you wouldn't get to... You wouldn't find it on your first life. You'd have to try multiple times to actually live. Also, here's another insta-death trap. The Megaton. Giant bowling ball. However, I demonstrate there that when you hit it with your yo-yo, which is risky as hell, uh, it will stop very briefly, giving you just enough time to sneak away and into one of the side corridors. Fortunately, we don't need to. D we don't. We're not required to do that on this, in this room. Now what? What's next? More whiz robes, except they're pirate whiz robes. But that's okay because they just gave us a mirror, and we need that mirror. I do want to get rid of that wandering snake, though. Makes me nervous having another enemy in the room when you're fighting these guys. Look at that, we didn't even need the spear. Uh, uh, mirror. Oh, another very fun room. Actually, I really like this one. Can I do this without taking damage? I sure hope so, because these guys hurt for at least one heart. I don't remember exactly how much. Yes! And you may have noticed we got a rod of sight. Again. Now, I completely forgot about this portion of the level. This music, there could be some free hearts in here, and that would be really nice right about now. Baseball bat, uh, Not what we were looking for. There's gotta be some secrets somewhere in this level. A medicine of some kind? Oh, what?! What happened?! Alright, so I must have walked forward, like, a frame too early. Which is... Bull. That should not have happened. I think that's the one time I'm really gonna blame the game over me. Alright, so this room doesn't seem to have anything really interesting in it. I could really use some hearts now. Uh, as if I wasn't already in need of them. And, oh god, these guys. Damn it! Oh, and a good place to start you, so if you hesitate for the... just a, little, a second, then the Megaton will kill you again. Lose two lives for the price of one. Awesome. Uh, 
Notice that no matter how many hearts you have, when you die, you restart with three. I don't know if I've really demonstrated that yet. I think probably the last time I showed off a death was at Magma's Cavern. And I only had like five or six hearts then. And you might have thought, maybe they just give you half your hearts back. That would seem logical, right? No. You get three. You get three and you're gonna like it or die. Star Tropics. Alright, we get to do this room again. Let's go up this time. Maybe I'll have better luck. I am going to go back and ex fully explore the path here, but... What?! Alright. Alright. No. You cannot do that, game. That is really... not fair. That is a dick move. So, apparently, the uh, submersible buttons don't change color until you're in the room, and, you know, everything's kind of loaded up. The problem is, when they start you on one of those tiles, and this is the only room in the game where they do that, uh, if you don't jump immediately, you're dead. And there's no way you're going to know that your first time. Star Tropics. Which way do we go now? I'm gonna try the upper path again, because, well, now that I remember that secret's there, uh, uh that trap is there. Okay. Yeah, you're not so bad when I know that w when I know you're actually there, huh? Okay, we definitely could use those hearts. That will be a big help. And with the shooting star, we can uh, freeze Megaton from a distance, which is pretty good, because you don't want to risk that. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. You'll have to excuse me, I think I'm getting a bit of a cold. <laughs> Let's have all of them going at the same time. This is safe. This is smart. I just wasted all the hearts I got. Wasn't I already in this? Oh, yeah, no. I can't even remember the layout of this level. It is a very large level. About as large as the Ghost Village, I'd say. But this one doesn't have you running in circles for quite as much. You guys again. I still get hit! Oh, another one of these guys. This time, the room is a lot smaller, and I only have the yo-yo! Okay, good. <laughs> good job, Mike, stopping that several-ton rock with a yo-yo. Oh, that is... not... Oh, that's so mean. Why would you do that game? You may have noticed I made a mistake rushing through that hallway just now. Forgot to hit the switch. Gotta do it again. And then I forgot where the actual switch is. It's not the one in the middle, it's the one all the way on the other side. So you get to see me jackass through this room two and a half more times. Once you get the hang of it, they're not that dangerous, but... Like I said, it only takes one little slip up and you're dead. Anything in this room? A little suspicious. Okay. Ah, yeah, I my instinct was that it's another one of those uh, submersible tiles right off the get-go, but... Nope, just bats, moving very fast, being very hard to dodge, and because I jumped right away, I ended up jumping right into one. Now, I mentioned last time we saw these behemoth guys that they're pretty dangerous when you have the yo-yo. It's just because they take, like, 14 hits. It just ends up being kind of slow and tedious. <laughs> Aha! I knew it had to be somewhere. Like I said, the spike tiles mean that you can't, uh, you won't find an entrance 
uh, on that wall. But there is a gap in that wall, therefore there could be an entrance. So why not try it? Now, have we been in this room before? Yes, we have. This is where that... where I thought there would be a medicine, but there wasn't. Instead, just a baseball bat. So here's how you actually get the medicine. Oh, damn it. I hope I didn't need that. Good job. Did that only restore five hearts? I wonder if I was wrong about the medicines. I don't think I ever knew that before. I just assumed it was six hearts. Well, either way, we're in much better shape, and I'm just gonna kill these guys really quick. Or run away from them? No, I'm gonna kill them. Yep. Alright, moving on. Have we finished this level? Are we almost there? We have to be. <laughs> We've gone through quite a bit of crap for this one little side story. Oh my god, why? Oh, more of these things. I kind of like them. They're they're fun to avoid. It's just It's just paying attention to, you know, the the <laughs> your your x's and y axes and just finding the one safe spot. Oh. Oh jeez. No. Oh, that room is set up perfectly to kill you. I have to give it to them, that was a very well-designed trap. The, uh, stake trap is closing in on you, forcing you to move forward, while the harpoons make you jump forward, and then the coup de grace is the sinking platform. That's how you handle that, by jumping in place instead of jumping forward. And I do it again just to make sure that that other button is not also submersible. As if we haven't seen enough of these guys, this one is way more dangerous than the others. It does not go off the screen. It is always on the screen. So, this is a test of how good you are at stopping it. Of course, with the shooting star, it's a little easier and there's a lot less guesswork involved. There we go. That wasn't so bad. I may have messed... I probably would have messed it up with the yo-yo, but I only have one life left, so... I can't believe I died so many times. I mean, that one was just a health death, the other one were, was the game being just a dick. <laughs> Jeez. So much unnecessary damage. And I did so well in Chapter 4, I didn't take any damage at all. Man. Oh, this thing looks important. Looks like a water wheel of some sort for some kind of mechanism. Is this the secret that Captain Bell hid? <clears throat> well, let's get it going and see what happens. Certainly some good music playing. We like to hear that music. It means we did something good. I'm not sure why this song is playing, of all songs. I, it, I didn't know. Is it a British song? I wasn't aware. Either way, sorry, Captain Bell, but we have to scuttle your ship. We salute you. Wow, we've done it! Somehow, that was quite a fun level. Tough, but fun. That's how we like to see it. The next few levels will be that way as well, but not as hectic and crazy. So, now we go further on to Dr. J. Thanks for watching, guys. See you at the next island.